Hey guys, Coach Ryan with Jepra Power Skating, and this is a follow-up video to a video that I did about the tape line and the breakaway blueprint working on your full breakaway stride at home. And all it costs you is a roll of tape. Coming up next. everybody, Coach Ryan here, and if this is the first time you're watching, this is Dupra Power Skating. This channel is all about being dynamic, getting faster, maximizing your technique, and turning your speed into a weapon out on the ice. It's about finding hidden gears from the comfort of your own home. So this is a follow-up video to this video right here. In that video, that was basically the first time that I explained the blueprint tape line drill. But this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and answer a lot of questions and comments that were asked about the original video. So here we go. So what you want to do is you want to take your tape and depending on how tall you are, I didn't need a big line of tape. You might need a big line of tape if you're over 5 foot or over 5'10", 6 feet. Right? You might need an eight foot chunk. But what you're going to do is you're going to lay this down and in a straight line, and then you're gonna make bigger than a V. It's gonna be kind of like a wide open mark to reset your stride and your return leg underneath you, okay? The reason for the tape line drill is to overtrain, right? Some people said, coach, well, why are you pushing directly out to the side? You, you don't do that on the ice. It's all about overtraining. Now the idea behind overtraining would be the same as your knee bend. Nobody can skate as low as a chair in a 90 degree angle, nor would you want to because when you actually drop down that low, it's too low and you would lose power in your stride. There's a point where you want to stop and you're maximizing all the force in your quads on your breakaway stride. If you get down too low, you actually lose that. So the idea with overtraining is if we can get you here on off-ice training, then when you get out on the ice, there's no problem putting you here. You have the flexibility and the strength to stay in this position for your forward stride. If we train here and don't overtrain, when you get out onto the ice in game speed, it'll put you up even higher where we don't want you. So that's the whole theory behind overtraining. Go farther beyond normal, learn that muscle memory, put those muscles under stress, and then they will remember that position just slightly above where you're at. The same idea with your breakaway stride. So just like a movie director watching a movie, they're going to sit and they're gonna be able to pick apart any movie sometimes for the lack of their enjoyment. They've been doing it so long that they can notice the minor edits that were wrong, come up with some kind of fancy video, videographer term that I don't know about, and they'll say, why was that wide shot, not a uh, up close head and shoulder shot or a panned in move? I don't know, but you get the idea. I'm trying to make the connection. It's very hard for me to watch hockey training videos and coaches that are still to this day teaching techniques that don't maximize your power, that don't max maximize your power off ice or on ice. I have parents coming to me saying, I did all this off ice training with a coach and it improved this, it improved that, and then when I go out to the ice, it's not transitioning from off ice to on ice. And Every time I watch a YouTube video about forward breakaway stride and the first thing the coach leads off with is extend out at a 45 degree angle out to the side and back behind you. I can't watch anymore. That's it. I'm out. Change the channel. Let's watch this one. Click. Nope. Next channel. I'm out. Can't watch that one. Looks good. Ooh. I love that drill. That's an awesome drill. Don't do it. Don't you dare say it. I'm out. Rule number one. I should say it like a kung fu master. 
rule number one, over train and over exaggerate the movement. Rule number two, over train. Rule number three, technique, over train. We're gonna over train that movement and learn that muscle memory to keep you down low and extend, not at a 45, but directly out to the side. Here's the theory behind it. When you overtrain, this is the map, this is the blueprint to remind you to return heels out and keep your skate, your skate at an angle, but your stride not at a 45 degree angle extending back behind you, but extending like you're on a slide board pushing directly out to the side. We're gonna start at the line and we're going to end at that same line. Notice the knee bend, over training, stress on the muscle. It will remember this deep knee bend. Full extension, not a dead leg, not a toe down, not a knee bend. Full extension, like a piece of lumber at Home Depot, flexing and pointing the toe. And then you take a marker and mark your spot. Stand up, shake them out. Now, the next part of this, like I said, in this video, we're going more in depth. If you need the basic beginner video of the blueprint tape line, watch this video right here first. Okay, in the advanced version, I also want to point out something else that really bothers me on some training. I watch some coaches teaching great off-ice drills, and I'm especially particular about forward breakaway stride. And I see some coaches, they do the 45. The other thing they do is when they return, this kills me. I've seen a couple coaches say, okay, push out to the side, and I'm like, that's awesome. 100% agree with that. And then they stand up. So you're here, full extension, and then when they return, they're teaching drills where you stand up and come out of your knee bend. Don't ever train that way. Train like you're skating on the ice, which is deep knee bend, extension, return. Don't stand up. Keep your glide leg underneath you. Extend, return, don't stand up. Especially when you're trying to transition your forward breakaway stride to the ice, whether it's a sumo squat or a lateral lunge, don't stand up. This would be another, this would be another recommendation that I would make. If you're doing side lunges, don't come up out of it because you don't skate that way. So if you do your side lunge, return here and move. Do your side lunge, return here and move. But do not come up out of that deep knee bend. Build the quads, legs feed the wolf, hashtag Herb Brooks. So remember, when you're working on your forward stride on the blueprint line, Make sure you start with downstairs, which is from hips down, and then you can actually throw in the upper body. So heel to heel, toes turned out. The tape line reminds me to keep my toes turned out to get me set up for a good quick start, ripping off my inside edges of my toes and snapping. Extend, make sure you stay over the glide leg, right? Don't want to see you doing the splits and leaning this way. Extend, get that muscle memory all the way through the calf, down through the toe, and then put your arm swing in. Righty, righty, or to you it looks like lefty, lefty, and then return and reach and stretch. Don't forget to use your marks so you know where you're at. When you're done, then you can stand up, return, shake them out, get rid of all the nasty things that you wanted to say when it was burning down here. Just go in a private room so nobody can hear you. That's my recommendation. So don't forget to check out the beginner video of the blueprint line and make sure you use this in your forward breakaway training. If you need more advanced moves in a full system, don't forget to look in the description 
down below this video for the breakaway blueprint, the full system that I use off ice to help players unlock a hidden gear and be dynamic, turning your speed into a weapon out on the ice. Thanks for watching this episode of Dupra Power Skating. If you liked it, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe because we got lots of new videos coming your way. And just like Wayne Gretzky, I hope you have a great one. We'll see you next time.